In this video, I'm going to talk about the social media SME strategy to give you massive brand exposure and to build an online brand. Coming right up. And this is John Lee. If you're the first time you come across me, then my channel is all about creating online brands and creating that big exposure so you can generate more leads and sales. And if you don't want to miss out on all the new content, hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on all the brand new content. So what is the social media FME strategy? So if you look at how you actually build an online brand and what's the thought process behind it, you want to think about how can you be seen? For example, I recently got a haircut and as I was going to the hairdressers, I got recognized four times before going to the hairdressers and as I was coming back. So when you think about building that brand, what you're really building is brand. The, and another word for brand is really uh, reputation or also recognition. So it's people that know who or heard of you before they even come to you. So I want to share with you on my uh, little whiteboard here and what that looks like. So let's say, for example, right now you have, um, so let's say this is you, okay? And what we want to do is we want to get that brand exposure. So one of the first strategies that you can use to build that brand exposure is, and again, we want to use social media to do this because social media is free to get exposure. It doesn't cost any money to get exposure on there. So the first one is the F, okay? So F stands for Facebook. So we want to drive people from Facebook to our brand to see who we are, to see what we have to say. So the reason why Facebook is so good is because Facebook is, is, is probably the easiest platform to share content. So it's the easiest place for you to go viral. For example, one of my videos has had over 44,000 people share that video. And that video, as a result of those shares, reached up to 10 million people. So when you put a video and it can get shared a lot, that means you get a lot of brand exposure. People start to know who you are. And as a result of that, you start to get a lot more followers. So when we talk about, when we talk about building a strong online brand, you know, it means that you've got to be consistent on that platform. So when I first started, I started using Facebook and I was posting every single day. All right. And, you know, I went for, and it took me a while. It took me probably, you know, uh, two, you know, two or three years just to get to about 50,000 followers. But what happened after that is then I had one video that hit because I was consistent. And then bang, I went from 50 to 100,000, 100 to half a million, half a million to a million. Now I have over 2.2 million people that follow me on Facebook. So this is how I created that online brand where a lot of people now have heard of me or heard of what I do. So building an online brand is really important. Now, the second thing is, we also want to use L and that L is for LinkedIn, right? Now, why, why is LinkedIn so powerful? And why do I think all of you should definitely be using LinkedIn? Because LinkedIn, if you think about LinkedIn, LinkedIn used to be like a CV platform, right? Which means like, you know, you put, you know, where you work, how long you work there for, you know, um, and what your job title is. And that is where the best thing is about LinkedIn is the job profile. So when you're making posts on LinkedIn, you can see the types of people that see your posts, right? And actually within LinkedIn, okay, all social media has a free way to do things, but it also, if you pay the, the, the social media platforms a little bit of money, you can pay them to reach the exact people that you want. So for example, I deal a lot with CEOs. So, you know, CEOs, they come to me for public speaking advice. They come to me for listing a company on the stock exchange advice. And they come to me for, you know, how to grow a business, take it to the next level. So literally there's actually a little section within LinkedIn when you say, I want to make this post, but I only want to show this to CEOs. Now, if you're, if you're looking for investment, then you might want to show this to just investors. But the great thing about this is that you now have that ability to be able to laser target your exact audience. So now you have a much higher chance of making more income. Okay. So that is that. And the next one is the why. And this is probably where you're watching me right now is you're watching me on YouTube. So why for YouTube? YouTube is really, really good because YouTube is what we, is primarily a, a longer uh, format. So let's say, for example, I'm scrolling on Facebook, I'm scrolling on Instagram, I'm scrolling on TikTok. Th those videos are really, really fast. But when you come to YouTube, typically, you know, for example, my videos on average get between 150,000 to 200,000 minutes watched every single month. So even though I don't have that many subscribers, 
um, my watch time. The watch time is actually the most important factor of whether you make money on YouTube or not. So, you know, if you have one person that watches your video for like one second, or you have like, uh, you know, 10 people that watch your one hour video, then no, that's significant. So the whole idea of this, and this is why it's always better to upload longer content. So when you want to create that brand, and this is why when I ask people, so they say, oh, you're John Lee. And they say, oh, how did you find out about me? Oh, I saw one of your videos on YouTube. So a lot of the times, and this is where a lot of the sales come in, is all my different businesses, whether it's real estate, my uh, technology. So I have a, an app called um, Wealth Dragons. I have a software company called um, Membi. Um, I have an events company. I do real estate. And so or I do coaching and mentoring consulting. So when I ask people, so how did you find out about me? Most of them will say, well, I saw you on YouTube. I watched one of your, of your videos on YouTube. In fact, let me ask you, when's the first time you came across me? Was it Facebook? Was it Instagram? Was it YouTube? Can you let me know below? Because I'd love to know um, how you actually found out me. So just leave a comment below. I'll come in and like your comment and give you guys a, a thumbs up and a like. Um, but YouTube is, again, really, really powerful because YouTube allows that ability to have longer form content and therefore uh, the more people that consume your content, if you're, if you're monetized on YouTube, you get to make money from YouTube. But if not, you know, when people are consuming your content, you start to get a lot more trust, a lot more uh, brand exposure. All right. So the fly. Okay. And then we have the next one, which is G. Okay. And the G stands for Google. So you want to be found on Google. So let's say, for example, if I go to, um, all right. So if I go to Google and I type in John Lee, okay. So let's see what comes up. So you see that, you see LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn, the social media platform, like, do, do you know how many search results there are for John Lee? Look at this, uh, 1.9 billion searches results of John Lee, because John Lee is a very common name. You know, John is a very common name and Lee is a very common name. You put them together, I've got the most, one of the most common names in the world. Um, so here again, if you look at this, look, my, my social, my, my LinkedIn, my Facebook and my Instagram is showing up. Okay. And also my, my website here, my YouTube channel is showing up as well. Um, and you know, you'll also see videos as well. So people will come and um, see videos like this, you see. Um, you see, so the top search results are actually the social media platform. So the reason why this is important, and, and again, if you've got an unpopular name where not everybody, it's not common, then it's much easier for you to do this. But those of you in business and whatever you do, like if people type your name into Google and they can't find you or your social media profiles, this is why it's so important to build a brand because people need to be able to find you, right? They, they, they need to be able to search for you. And that's what we call a digital footprint. In fact, it's one of the things I teach on my social media and business bootcamp, where we talk about, you know, how do we build that, that, that exposure that allows you to be able to go into that and start finding out specific details on how you can rank and, and, and how you get. And one of the fastest ways is to use social so people can find you on the social channels. And that's, that's what also builds a brand. So Google is really important as well. All right. Next one is we have use a different color here. Uh, pink. Okay, we also have T for TikTok, right? So TikTok is also really good. So I gained, what, maybe what, 400,000 followers on TikTok. TikTok's really easy to build followers because when a new platform comes out, it allows you to get a lot of free exposure. Now, the great thing about TikTok is that you have something called a TikTok fund, right? Which means that you can now go um, and, and if you do a lot of content for TikTok, TikTok will actually pay you money to create content, which is, I think is amazing. It's probably one of the, the, the I mean, YouTube is also going to be doing that as well. And also Facebook have what we call the Facebook supporter platform, where you can actually make posts on all these social media platforms and get paid money to make posts on these social media platforms. So, you know, let's say you charge a hundred dollars for a post, you do seven posts, you can make, you know, two and a half thousand a month almost by, by, by just making a few posts. So, you know, it's, it's just a great way to start when you're creating that social media brand, then the next question is, well, how do we monetize it? And I'll come to that um, in, in one of my future videos. Okay. And the last one we want to focus on is the, let me use a brown for this. Let me, is the I and I stands for Instagram, right? So Instagram, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you see, in fact, if I go to my Instagram account, a lot of people say, well, John, I don't want to show my face on camera. I don't want to, you know, uh, be show my face everywhere. That's fine. But if you look at what I'm doing right now on, on, on social media, you'll see that 
a lot of the things that I'm putting up actually doesn't really always show my face, right? So like if you look at these posts here, like these posts don't really show my face. So these are kind of like caricatures on what you can do in order to like, for example, you see this one here, that is me, but it's not really me. I mean, that's my face, right? So these little cartoons look like me, but you, you know, you don't always have to show your face on social media. Like you can show your brand on social media. You can show your business. You can show your work on social media and people will see it and they'll contact you to say, Oh, how, like, how can I, you know, get, get more of that. So it's really, really, really important that when we're using the social media FME, that we're like, we are everywhere. Like we want to put ourselves everywhere. So I know what you're thinking. Well, John, that's going to take a long time. No, nope. um, I'm going to create another video that's going to show you how can how we can actually do this without having to use any extra time by using some software involved. So if you love this video, then do me a favor, hit the like button right now and it'll help the YouTube algorithms to show you more of my videos. And if you don't want to miss out on all the new videos I create, hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications notifications you don't miss out on all the new content and my question for you is which one of these four platforms do you currently use leave a comment below and let me know why you use that particular platform and why you don't use other platforms and i'd love to hear your response so leave a comment below and i'll come in and i will like your comment and i will try and comment as much of your comments as possible all right so what i'll do i'll link some videos here and here i'll put a video up here as well other than that this is john lee the author of business hack i so look forward to seeing you next video and Oh, by the way, I'm also running a free masterclass. If any of you would love to learn how to do this in a lot more detail, click the link below and uh, there'll be a link to my free masterclass there. It's John Lee, the author of Business Hack. See you next video. Bye for now.